happy Saturday night. I know I'm never live on Saturday night or any night for that matter. Um, how's everyone doing tonight? I have no makeup on today, y'all. I haven't done my hair today. I have no makeup on. So I am going to, and I always look so dark on here for some reason. I'm going to do, nope. No, I'm not doing that. Hold on. <sighs> Hold on, we're gonna switch them. And I'm gonna do that because nobody needs to see that, right? <laughs> okay, so tell me if you're watching, tell me what's going on tonight. Let me get this camera centered for y'all. Okay, so I, this is like a fly by the seat of my pants, last minute kind of live. I made the new free file for June today and I just posted it on my website. I have not sent out the email. Um, I will send that out first thing in the morning, but there is a new um, free file for the month of June and ta-da, this is it. So it is a Tiki Bar sign. I have a whole bunch of Tiki Bar files that are getting ready to um, premiere this month and this is the first of those. So if you are joining me tonight, just say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. Um, tell me if you're new, if you have watched my videos before, just tell me all the things and chat with me while I paint. Um, I am trying to find all my paint colors right now, and my husband is supposed to be bringing me my, my brown paint because it was in the garage, so, um, oh, I did find some more, some more brown that might work. All right, so we are going to be painting this sign. It says, welcome to our Tiki Bar, and um, this is inspired by um we are actually building a tiki bar down here in louisiana in our backyard so hey melinda from nebraska how are you welcome thank you for joining me tonight i don't ever go live at night y'all i'm not a night owl um and i'm sorry that i did not send the text out because i looked at my phone and i thought it is almost nine o'clock which means on the east coast it's almost 10. And I'm not texting people at 10 o'clock at night because I just don't feel like that's appropriate. So I'm sorry that I did not text y'all because it is late um, in some time zones. So that is why. Um, however, if you want to be texted, um, I can pop it up on the screen. Uh, this is the number to sign up for the text. And normally I do send a text out because normally I go live during the day. Um, hey, Mary Ann, how are you? Thank you. I'm excited about this one. But y'all, this has a lot of pieces. So if you're a beginner, just know you can do this as a beginner, but just know that it might be a little lengthy. It might be a little, um, just a little, maybe a little frustrating. Just take your time. Um, I am kind of wishing I had cut a second um, backer out just so I could like have everything laid out and not have to move it. I wanted it, you know, all on here so y'all could see where we were starting from um and all of that this font just so y'all know this font has um i can't remember the name of the font that i used jungle something i think um but yeah it has like little cut out pieces if you want to paint those um as well you can but i'm not going to paint those those little bitty like thin pieces that cut out i'm not going to bother painting those because i just feel like that would just be kind of tedious and i don't you know i don't think it's necessary so we're not going to paint the insides for mine um hello christy how are you so yeah there's a lot of pieces um because i didn't want to cut uh, one big giant piece because I know some people use the Glowforge and it, you know, may not fit or, you know, I like for y'all to be able to use your scraps too. So this is kind of how it all comes apart. Um, we do have some layered pieces here because y'all know I like layers. So we have those and just really fun, I like a little tiki pole and a toucan and a little cocktail and just all the fun things. So um, so yeah, so we're going to paint our board first and I totally have not even like decided what I'm doing with my backer. I'm kind of sitting here thinking, do I want to do one of my like sunset kind of things or is that going to be too busy? Like I'm kind of thinking that that might be too busy for this sign. I'm thinking that we may just stick with like, um, this light blue. This is my favorite blue, this sea breeze. Um, 
I'm showing y'all like the big camera. This is Seabreeze. All my paint, pretty much all my paint is deco art. I love deco art paint. So I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the Seabreeze on the back. And then I might just swirl in a little white. Sorry, this, <laughs> I'm almost out of Seabreeze. Cause I use it all the time. That's a terrible noise. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so just tell me what's going on tonight. Christy is watching from Washington State. I'm drinking my lemon fizzy water. I did remember to put water in my mason jar. Do I have paper towels? Do I have a paper plate? Do I have anything that I need this evening? Hold on, I have both. Down here on my shelf. Paper plate for my paint. As usual, I don't have enough room for everything that I need. Okay, here we go. Before this paint starts to dry. Okay, so we're just going to do some sea breeze on here. I love this color. And I'm just doing kind of a messy um first coat because like i said we're gonna swirl in some white doesn't have to be perfect is anybody doing anything fun on this saturday night we are going to get up early in the morning and go fishing tomorrow so I'm going to try not to be on here forever, but this door hanger, I don't know, this door hanger might take me a little while with all its pieces. Mary Ann, hello, how are you? Watching you while you paint for a live sale tomorrow night. Oh, I have not done a live sale. I've actually been wanting to do a live sale because I don't sell a lot of finished pieces, but um, because I paint them live for y'all, I'm starting to have a bunch of things pile up and I need to do something with them. So, but I don't know, because see my followers, most of my followers follow me for files. They don't follow me for, um, that's probably too much white paint. Yeah, that's too much white paint. Oh, well, we're going to, we'll go back through with some more blue. Um, but yeah, they don't follow me for the finished products necessarily. They follow me for the files. So um, I don't know if a live sale would really work for me or not. But good luck with your live sale. That's awesome. This is just messy, messy fun. Fly by the seat of my pants, you know me, and my paint. Um, and I've already lost my sea breeze. How does that happen? There it is. All right, so tomorrow, well not tomorrow, the next day, I need to make sure that I go get more sea breeze and pebble paint. Because those are the colors that I have been running out of lately that I have been trying to make last. So this is an 18 inch door hanger. Um, I do always give y'all a split backer in my free file. So if you have a Glowforge and you don't know how to use your pass-through door, you don't have a pass-through door, you have a Glowforge basic, um, you can cut a shiplap backer. And shiplap, if you don't know what shiplap is, it's basically like the old barn board looking um, backer that has like lines on it. We call them shiplap lines. I think Joanna Gaines started that trend years ago. 
Um, but I give you a shiplap backer as well that is split so that you can um, cut it in two pieces. And there's a fastener piece that goes on the back so that you can piece together an 18 inch door hanger with your Glowforge Basic. Okay, so as usual, I always tell y'all this, this never looks like in person like it does on the screen. So this is just sort of like a, you know, a beachy sky, um, so to speak. So we are gonna just leave that like that. I really like the way it looks. Looks different to me in person than it does on camera. That's why I always say I will show y'all the picture when I get done. Put that down there to dry. And that's true. You never know until you try. You are right about that. You are so right. I just would hate to get on there and like nobody's buying anything. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I'm going to paint my totem pole. Totem pole? Tiki pole? Are those the same thing? I don't think they are. Tiki pole. Okay. So this has the cutout for the pineapple piece that fits in here. So we're just going to kind of paint around that. I'm going to paint my colors and then I'm going to go around it with um, brown. So I'm going to use a Posca pen. Oops, now I'm going to use multiple pos Posca pens to paint this because it will help me stay in the lines better. I'll try to find some colors that I like over here. And then like a salmon, I have like a salmon color. All right. So I'm trying to stick a little bit like the picture. If you don't have these markers, these are Posca pens, P-O-S-C-A. You can get them on Amazon. I have seen them in some craft stores um, sold individually, but you're going to get a better bang for your buck if you get them in a set. And the only place I know you can get them as a set is on Amazon, but I'm sure there are like other online retailers that, that sell the set. I'm just gonna, if you see me looking over, I'm looking at my um, my picture to make sure I'm like not missing a color here, not getting a color in the wrong spot. Not that I have to stick with that color scheme, but it helps me to do it ahead of time and procreate. And um, that way I can kind of play without having to waste paint. If you have not discovered Procreate yet, Procreate is an app on your iPad. You have to have an iPad and an Apple Pencil to use Procreate. It does not work with any other platform or device, I don't believe, unless they've changed something. Um, but it is fantabulous. It is a huge help if you paint and you don't want to um, guess your colors. You want to kind of play ahead of time. That's what Procreate is wonderful. Well, it's wonderful for a lot of things. You can also design in it and make SVG files. Um, you can do all kinds of things in Procreate. It's pretty cool. I'm not like an affiliate, you know, sponsor, nothing like that. I just, I really like it. So we're just going with some nice, bright, fun, tropical colors. I'm not like stressing over staying in the lines because I'm going to go around and outline it. Um, so if you guys follow me and you watch my videos, you know that SVG Clubhouse is going to be opening up on June 20th. And we have got some really cute files this month. So this month we're doing um, Sweet Land of Liberty is our theme. And we're doing patriotic files. Um, but we also have um, some bonus projects that I'm going to be uh, releasing as well. And so when you join, you get the monthly files. And then you also get... Um, the bonus files as well. And you want to join on the first day on June 20th if you're joining because that's the only day that you can get all the bonus files. So what we do is we offer 
um, several bonus files that week. But if you want to get the entire bundle, you have to join the first day because every day that goes by, we drop one. So mark your calendars for June 20th. And I will be, if you're on my waiting list, you'll be getting an email. Um, you'll be getting emails a few days before, but then you'll also get an email the morning that we open. And you can go to svgclubhouse.com to get on that waiting list. And here, I'll pop that back up. That's the new banner. Um, someone said you can get these at Walmart. Who said that? Marianne said you could get them at Walmart. I did not know that. I haven't seen them at Walmart. But I haven't, you know, I haven't looked around a whole lot in the craft section at Walmart. I will have to check that out. Let's see. What other color do I want to put in there? I did this salmon. Oh, I haven't done pink. Let me see if this pink shows up. I think I'm going to have to do the brighter. Pink. They also have a small, like a fine tip. This is the medium tip, but I just find that they're inkier than this than the fine tip. And um, I'm like I said, I'm going to be going back and outlining anyway. So I'm just being lazy here and trying to get my paint on more quickly. So I'm using the the medium tip. And let's do oops of course I forgot to hit start on my time-lapse camera again hold on there we go I'm just going to do a little bit of a second coat of the salmon color. It's not very bright. Okay. And let's see. I kind of need a light brown and a dark brown, but I don't feel like there's that big of a contrast between these two brown shades. So let me see what this peach looks like. I don't know. Yeah, that'll work. It's very the salmon, but this is peach. Oh Lord. I don't use peach very often, and clearly, <laughs> it's decided to spill out. I think it needs to be shaken. All right, let's see if we can make that work better. It's honestly not a huge contrast from the natural color of the wood, but I guess it is a peach color, so. All right, I'm not gonna use this as much as I thought. I'm sorry, y'all, I didn't turn my sound off on my phone and my Etsy notifications are coming through. Um, oh, Gay, I'm so excited you're making the new benches. Yay. Um, I can't remember which ones are you working on. Tell me which ones I gave you. So she's talking about the um, the two benches. I'm just splattering paint all over me, y'all. The two benches that I have in my Etsy shop. Um, one is a regular bench and the other one is um, like a chicken wire backer and 
they are designed to fit the shelf sitters, but I know some people are using them for tiered tray pieces too. Um, but I just came out with a whole bunch of new designs for those that I'm, whoops, I'm, I can't talk in paint, can I? Um, that I'm going to be releasing in the next week. And we have all different designs for the backers on the bench. And so I have some volunteers who are painting those for me so we can get them listed. So thank you volunteers for doing that because there's no way I would ever get files out there if I painted them all myself. I very much appreciate y'all for volunteering to paint. See, that's just not as juicy. That fine tip hot pink is not as juicy. Um, you are doing the pumpkins and the spider web. Oh, I'm so excited to see that one. I love Halloween and Christmas are my favorite files to make. I don't know if I've told y'all that. I love making Halloween and Christmas files. They are just so much fun. I really wish that the holidays were spaced out more because I feel like I don't get enough time to make all the files I want to make before the season is over. And it's like, I have to move on to New Year's and Valentine's Day and all of that. Um, so yeah, I really wish that season was longer. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to pull this all together and do an outline in brown. So this is um, this is the regular brown, not the dark brown because this is a, this is a fine tip. And actually, now that I'm doing it, I don't know that I'm going to want to stick with the fine tip. Hold on. I don't see my... Oh, here it is. Okay, this might be the dark brown. Yeah, this is dark brown. I don't know that... I, do I have a light brown? I do. Okay. I already had it out. All right. This is the regular brown. Medium tip. So we may just have to switch back and forth between medium and fine tip. Black would look really good as well for the outline of this tiki pole. Y'all, did you notice that I have completely failed at trying to keep my desk not covered in paint. I, I hung in there for a good, what, four or five months. <laughs> and then I just was like, you know what? It is what it is. It's a paint desk and I have not cleaned it, but I probably could, even though I've let the paint sit on there, I probably still could clean it. This piece is the piece that's going to take the longest. Hopefully the rest of the sign will not take this long. But I just had Tiki on the brain. And, ooh, it's thunder in here, y'all. Do y'all hear that? And I had to get it out of my system. Tiki on the brain. All right, I'm sticking with the medium tip. And so far... It's doing good. So yeah, that's pulling that together, making it not look so sloppy. You have a big silicone mat and paint just wipes off. You know, I almost ordered one of those one time. Do you tape it down to the desk so it doesn't slide around? I was thinking about doing that. Because I really do like a pretty craft room. I look all neat and tidy but it just never does. You guys, we watched an 80s, not really horror movie. I guess, I guess it's technically horror, but it was more just like a scary movie last night. Um, 
that I had never seen before. Have y'all seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers? I had never seen it. And my husband and I were flipping through the channels. And he had seen it, but it had been a long time. So he really didn't remember it or who was in it or anything. So, yeah, we watched that last night. That was pretty entertaining. Just the difference in scary movies back then, you know. I say 80s. Was it 80s or 70s? I think it was 80s. I didn't look at the year. Pretty sure that movie came out in the 80s. I love all things 80s, so I was all in on that. Okay, so that is our Tiki Pole. Isn't he cute? I think he turned out pretty good. Nice and bright. It doesn't really slide. Oh, okay, so you don't have to tape it down? That's cool. All right, let's do our toucan bird here. So we're gonna paint him mostly black. Y'all, I have my contacts in, and that should be a good thing, but when I'm painting, I've told y'all this before, it's not a good thing because they're bifocal contacts, and when I really need to do detail work, um, I don't see as well as I do if I have a pair of readers on. So y'all forgive me. I'm doing the best I can here with my, and I'm going to paint, um, wait, do I have those little pieces? Oh, no, I don't either. I'm glad I didn't paint over that. Okay. I was going to say I'm just going to paint over his little um, his little bird feet, but I'm not because, wait, am I supposed to paint that? Yes, I think I am. Now I'm second guessing if I'm supposed to paint that or not. Yes, I am. I need to look at my picture. I thought I had cut the little feet out separately, but then I remembered I decided not to do that because I didn't want to have little tiny pieces for y'all. I felt like it was already enough pieces. All right, so I probably should switch to a smaller brush. Let me see. And of course, you can make your toucan different colors if you want to. It can be whatever colors you want. I looked up toucans to see what colors. And there were actually lots of options, which I don't know if that means they really are different colors in real life, but this is not real life. This is art, right? This is whatever you want it to be. Probably should have painted the inside of that first, that white, if I'm going to stick with white for it. I probably should have done black last. I don't know what I was thinking. But we'll just have to make sure it's nice and dry. Okay. So we'll let the black dry before we go back and do different colors on him. Um, oh, no, wait. You know what? They're separate pieces anyway. Cool. Okay, so this is not a separate piece. So we'll do this um, in a color, and then we can do these pieces, and then we'll just go back and paint the pieces that, um, you know, go right up against the black background. Okay, so we need some white. I like to paint white with a sponge dauber because I feel like I get a nice 
white coat, a nice thick white coat on there. Without having to do like multiple coats. Don't stress over the bubbles. You can kind of brush it a little bit instead of going straight up and down and that helps with the bubbles. But don't stress over the bubbles. They will go away, they will pop. All right, this is the bottom one. We're gonna do this one in like a salmon color. Oops, our salmon needs to be shook up. And then I'm gonna do the other part of his beak in yellow. But I'm not gonna, like I'm just kind of dabbing my salmon off on a paper towel. And I'm gonna pick up some yellow. So it's gonna have a little bit of salmon um, swirled in it. Well, I should have used a brush actually now that I say that, that's okay. See how that's got a little salmon swirled in it? Let me get a brush. It's thundering outside, y'all. Right. And I want that to be a little bit more yellow, so let me get Oh, that's still pretty salmon color. I might have to let that dry. And I'll go back and touch up that black. I just want there to be a little contrast between those colors. Um, and his feet. I know I said I was going to let this dry. I don't know why I'm painting it. I don't know why I'm doing that. And this is black on the end. I don't know why I painted that either. Because it's late and I'm tired. Let's paint that black. Pretty much already dry. I'm impatient. I like to see like the piece finished instead of letting it dry like I should. All right, now I've got some bright blue. Bright blue, why am I showing you from that camera angle? I do not know. Bright blue, deco art. <laughs> but I squirted it next to my white because I want it to have a little white mixed in it. Because I just think that would look good. Give it a little dimension.
just thinking what else I want to do here on him. I want to do something on my toucan to give him a little more something, something. I'm just dabbing a little white. around the edges. Maybe I can even see a little bit of black. Oh, here I did it again. That goes on there. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that, y'all. Keep forgetting that that goes on there. Sorry, I'm late. What are you painting tonight? Crystal, I am painting the new free file. This is the new free file for June. It is a tiki sign that says, welcome to our tiki bar. And I'm super excited about it because I think it's really cute. So I feel like it just needs, needs a few extra little touches here. And then I'm going to put these pieces together. Where is my black Posca marker? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And then I'll hold him up and let y'all see him. really get the full effect when everything is put together. Okay, so there is Mr. Mr. Toucan so far. All right, so let's find a place for him to dry. And We're going to do our pineapple and our flower and our leaf and all of that next. Okay, so let's do our green um, pineapple stem, which sometimes ends up on my counter looking a little brown, not green, but I like my pineapple pretty ripe though. Oh, I love this green. I always say that. This is my favorite green color by Deco Art. My favorite green color in general. This is Irish Moss. It's so pretty and bright. Love it, love it, love it. And you know we have to swirl in some... Oh, I don't remember I had that. All right, y'all, I'm going to have to come up with something to use this on. This is color changing top coat. It's like a sparkly iridescent top coat. I don't even remember buying that. I really don't. But we're going to have to find a use for it because that's exciting. Just noticed it in my drawer. All right, this is forest green. Y'all hear that thunder? 
mixing a little forest green and a little white. We're getting a little Bob Rossi here tonight on our live. I'm just kind of going in with those other shades of green. And that might be all I end up doing with that. That's our kind of hard to see. Sorry. That's our topper. See how it's got a little dimension to it. It's so much better when I when it's when I can take the picture of it and um, y'all can see at the end. But we're gonna do the same effect on this leaf. So I'm going back to my Irish moss here. So if y'all um, have any questions about SBG Clubhouse, just feel free to ask. Um, like I said, it opens June 20th. Um, if you don't know what it is, uh, what we do is we are a club of laser owners and you get exclusive files every month with your membership. So every month you get four new files that are exclu exclusive to the club, SVG files for your laser that are exclusive to the club. Um, meaning that I don't sell them to the public for at least a year, but really it's closer to two years before I get around to listing them. Um, so we're just still listing like the files from mid 2021 right now. So they are exclusive files that not everybody will have because you know how sometimes you, you feel like you're selling the same thing that everybody else has. And so uh, you also get marketing photos, finished, um, blank and finished marketing photos to use for your business. You get a detailed supply list with all of the supplies that we used for the projects, um, the paint colors, links to where we got everything, um, tips and tricks and things that I did. You know, if I used wire, ribbon, glue, paint, um, beads, twine boxes, uh, raffia, whatever, just whatever I use. Um, you get links to all of that. And we also do a live paint party every month in the Facebook group. You get to uh, join the Facebook group and we do a live paint party, a live tutorial every month on one of the projects. And you get bonus files every time I open the doors. So like if I open the doors to new members, which is what we're doing on June 20th, and you're already a member, then you get all those bonus files for free. So it's usually three or four times a year. So you get bonus files those times as well. You can ask questions in the group, get tips and tricks. Uh, you know, if you have questions about cutting out a project, painting a project. If you're a new laser owner and you're lost, um, this is a place for you because there are so many wonderful people in our group that a lot of times when someone asks a question before I can even, before I even see the question posted in the Facebook group, somebody else has already answered. Um, everybody's just so nice. There's no judging. There's no criticizing, um, you, you know, there are a couple of groups on Facebook that I found when I first purchased my laser. And I just felt like basically I was being told, you don't even know what you're doing. Why did you buy a laser? That kind of attitude. <clears throat> and I just thought, you know, how terrible that was because I really wanted to learn and I'm like, everybody has to start somewhere. You know, you don't have to be mean and judgy and make people feel bad because they're not mechanical engineers or whatever kind of engineer. Um, and don't know how a laser works. I'm just taking white and just kind of smearing this in y'all. Nothing. 
nothing complicated. I'm just taking white and I'm just adding to my pink. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to grab a little bit of black. And I'm also going to kind of, that's too much black actually. Hold on. I'm going to fix that. Yeah, that's what I wanted. All right, let's go back with pink. Let's fix it. Add a little bit more pink and white to that. We've made gray on this one petal. How annoying. <laughs> How annoying is that? See? Everybody messes up. It was looking so good and then I messed it up. Oh. We might have to just let it dry. Go back over it. We're going to fix that one petal. All right, this needs to be black, in my very humble opinion. We're going to just paint this with a pen real quick. This is the center of the flower. I think I'm going to do some dots on here. So I think that would be pretty. I might do them with um, puffy paint though. We'll break out the puffy paint. But we're going to let that dry first and let's do our pineapple bottom. Okay, so all these little guys are going to be black as well. These little um, pieces that go on the pineapple. And I just thought it would be cute if they were three dimensional. So if you don't want to put them on there and you just want to score them and paint them, you could do that too. If you just want to save yourself the step, but I just thought they would be really pretty. dry so I can fix it. All right, so now we're going to do yellow on our pineapple. And I'm just sponging that on because I have yellow and I have, it has a little bit of the coral mixed in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. Now we're picking it up. to give it some dimension. Just like that, easy peasy. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and glue our pineapple top on. We probably want to wait to glue all those little pieces on. So we'll wait a couple minutes for that until that flower's dry and, and that pineapple's dry. Okay, so this is the top to like the little um, whatchamajoozy um, fire thing. Torch. Torch is the word that I am looking for. The thing that they put out on Survivor when they get kicked off the island.
So what we're going to do is swirl yellow into our core hole. And then for the piece that goes on top of that, we're going to do yellow and swirl coral into our yellow to make it look like a flame. You'll see. I'm loving these tropical colors. I love summer. I love tropical, bright, fun pinks and blues and coral. Well, I've done it again. I keep putting too much of that darker color in. Dag on it. When am I going to learn my lesson? When am I going to learn? Yellow. I want more yellow, not more coral. Oh, no. We'll let that dry and then we'll fix that too. we are fixing stuff tonight. That's okay. All right, so pink. Pink, pink and no black. No gray. Too. All right. And then this is the little piece that goes on our torch. So we're going to make him like a darker gray. And flanked by like a lighter, a lighter gray. So we'll put our gray next to our black so we can pick up a little of the darker shade. That's just supposed to be like a darker shade of gray. And then the lighter shade of gray is going to go on the back. So let's get the lighter shade. I'm trying to grab some white, lighten that up a little bit. This is gray sky. And then I'm grabbing a little bit of white in there. And this little piece is just another piece of that torch that goes on the bottom. And then we get black, not black, but dark gray. stripes on that. Okay. What else can we do? We need to do our drink, our tiki drink. Here. Everybody's still awake? Are y'all still with me? <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock here. Is it really? Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock here. This is late for me, y'all. I'm usually in my bed. In my bed at 10 o'clock. All right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, I think I'm just going to do this. I think I'm just going to paint yeah, I think I'm going to 
paint this coconut with brown paint, a brown Posca pen. But then I'm going to bring in some dimension on him with a little antique wax, a little Waverly antique wax. I left my brown paint in the garage. I think my husband put it outside the door, but I'm just being lazy. I'm just using this pen. So we're going to zhuzh it up anyway. We're zhuzhing. Zhuzhing tonight. Oh, paint. Where'd it go? This is Waverly Antique Wax. So come, I'm doing it again, y'all. From This is from Walmart. So this comes in a big tub too, and I have the big tub, but um, I also have this little guy. So this is what we're gonna use. It's really dark though. We can mix that with a little white. I think. That looks really dark. All right, let me, when is this paintbrush sitting out? It's getting hard. I need another paper towel. Um, Mary Ann says yes. What are you saying yes to? Forgive me for asking because I probably just asked a question and you're answering it. <laughs> but it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm tired. I'm up past my bedtime, y'all. That looks more like a like a little coconutty kind of drink. Like if you had a little, you know, pina colada and a coconut, this is more the color that it would be. I'm liking that. That looks better. So we're mixing a little antique wax and a little white. I thought that antique wax was gonna to be too dark, but it's not. I actually need more of it. I'm going back in for more. There we go, that's what I'm after. I need to learn to leave well enough alone. Um, okay, so yeah, and then we'll do, we'll let that dry and we'll do the middle of the drink and make it look like a, you know, a tropical-y kind of, kind of color. Here's my white. All right, I'm taking um, Marianne's. Oh, you. Oh, you're saying yes. You're still there. Thank you. <laughs> I did ask. Are you still there? That's what I just asked. See, I'm telling you, I'm tired. I had water on my paintbrush. Too much water on there. I was trying to paint stripes on my straw is what I was trying to do. I'm so 
this hot pink color. Just a few little stripes. And then we're going to paint a nice, bright, cheerful umbrella situation. Should we do some polka dots on our umbrella? I think we should. I think that would be cute. All right. What color should our drink be in there? I'm thinking just some more of the pink color. Oh, paint everywhere. Who wouldn't want a pink drink? Right? I would want a pink drink. If I was at a tiki bar. Oh, you're a night owl. I am not a night owl usually. Okay, we want this to be more yellow, like we said, right? More yellow, less coral. show up yes that shows up okay that's gonna work and then we still have to fix our flower so let's do that Not too much black, so that's what happened last time. I'm adding a little black over here just to compensate. There we go. And we will glue our thing in the bob on here. Let me make sure which way it goes first. <clears throat> I can see the lines. Y'all might not be able to see the lines, but I can see my score lines and I think, I think that, yeah, that's how it goes. Did I turn it? Uh-oh. No, oh, what did I do? No. No, that's right. Okay, now what we're going to do is do some polka dots with our puffy paint. Now, remember when you do this, these have to dry for several hours.
So that is our crazy tropical flower, looking a little crazy. That's all right though. And then um, we are gonna do some polka dots on our umbrella as well. Let's do white. Cute. All right, and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and glue all these other pieces down. That they still haven't glued. All right, there's that. And then let's figure out which way our flower goes. Looks like it goes that way. Alrighty, now, what do we have left? I think we just have our letters. So, sometimes I have to put everything on my board before I can figure out what color I want for my letters because that's just how I do. So let me do that. Try to make room. I love that, y'all. Look how fun that is. It's so fun. So here's our board. And let me think, what part did I do first? Okay, we're gonna do our tiki pole first. I think I'm gonna actually go back on that Tiki Man and I'm gonna do some um, some black get in there, puffy paint accents on there. I think he needs a little black to make him pop. What do y'all think? I had trouble getting this in here before y'all. I was like, what did I do here? Here it goes. <laughs> because it doesn't go all the way in because of just the way, just the way that it is. It doesn't go all the way in. So if you get confused, the bird does not go all the way into the leaf. It's just the way that, you know, it's shaped. Okay, so there's our, is that straight? Okay, so then we need to do welcome to our tiki bar and definitely need some black in there. Do need some black. Welcome to our 
I don't know if that's straight. I'm going to have to look later. That's why y'all know I'm not going to glue all this down for y'all while I'm live because I need to be standing on top of it, especially because this one, I don't have a shiplap backer. And when I don't have those shiplap lines and I'm not standing right over top of it, I will make it crooked. So and you don't want to go to all the trouble of painting your beautiful door hanger and then it's crooked when you glue it. No way. Welcome to our Tiki Bar. You could also change this. I think the font was Jungle, Jungle something. You could change it to say just ha Happy Summer, Welcome Summer, Hey Summer. You could do Aloha. You could do so many things for your lettering. So that would be super cute. Okay, I want to. Where's my black? I just feel like he needs some black on him to bring, like, to tie him into the rest of the. The rest of the sign. Oh, yeah. There we go. Here you are. Mr. Tiki Man. I'm just going to put him wherever, y'all. Just wherever I think would be cute. If you're wondering where this, where you can get this stuff, this is Tulip Slick fabric, dimensional fabric paint that you can get at um, most craft stores. All right, we don't want to like overdo it, right? We don't want to overdo it. Is that good? What do y'all think? Should we do some like maybe cheeks? We're gonna stop there. I think that is perfect. Do we need dimensional paint anywhere else? Maybe on his eye. Oh yeah, there we go. Now his eye is nice and glossy. That's cute. Um, yeah, I think we might actually do a little next to not polka dots, like a line on the straw. That's cute. Um, I feel like we need some white on this leaf. What do y'all think? This is a very busy sign, but that's, you know, that's what it's about. This is a, this is the theme for this kind of deal. Tiki stuff is supposed to be fun and bright and busy and all the things. You could probably charge more for your door hanger with all the embellishments, right? I totally think you could. Okay, so now we're going to do our letters. And I think, okay, should we do Tiki Bar in black and then welcome to our in white? What do y'all think? I think that would work. Let's do that. I'm kind of doing this over in the bottom corner here because I am going to use a sponge stick. 
to do this. Because it's a quick way to get it done. taking this sponge stick and I'm just I'm doing my letters real quick y'all I'm sorry I know y'all can't see because the sign is in the way but I haven't glued it and I don't want to move it up a lot yet okay so put this you know now that I'm doing these letters y'all know what these letters need right do you know they need glitter. They do. They need glitter. I don't think I have enough black glitter, though. I think I'm going to have to go back later and glitter these letters. Because when they're wet, they kind of look glittered, and I kind of love it. seeing pieces I miss when it gets under the light. All right. Now, we need white. Do I have to get a whole new paper plate just to sponge white? I might. Let's see if I can get away with not doing that. I don't think I can, though. I need to sponge some white. Oh, I can sponge it in here. Let me do that. In this little bowl. It still has some glitter in it. That'll be all right, though. That is okay. My letters sparkle just a tad. Do as I say and not as I do. Do not put your letters back on your sign until they're dry. I should not be doing that because I am getting a little bit of black splatter. I'm trying to see what it's going to look like. All right, that is it, y'all. Welcome to our tiki bar. Maybe if I put it back like this, y'all can see like more of the whole thing. Kind of, sort of. Anyway, that's it. All finished. Just got to glue it all down.
super fun. This one is so much fun for summer, you guys. Have fun painting it. it I know I did. It really is just, it's, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of pieces, but I just think it's so fun. Okay, I'm going to get off here and go to bed. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful night, and I will post a picture of this. Um, go grab it. Go to my uh, the link. By the way, sorry, the link to grab the free file is in the video description. Or you can go to lulubeandesigns.com and go to the free SVG library, and that is where you can get the file. Um, it's free for the entire month of June. Don't forget to grab it before the end of the month. Um, after that, it is for sale in my Etsy shop, but you can grab it now while it's free. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.